Welcome to Zakima's Ridge Homestead. I'm Brian, and today we're going to take another look at the fuel mileage on the 2000 F350 four-wheel drive dually with a 7.3 diesel. Hello, and welcome to our channel. We're, we're glad, glad you're, you're here. here. Okay, in the last video, um, looks like we were around 13.9 was the best mileage I got. After that, I put the uh, Diamond Eye four-inch exhaust on and uh, done a lot of driving and truly my results are pretty inconclusive. Um, it did seem to go up maybe a mile per gallon with the exhaust. Uh, I have hit some 14.8, 14.5, 14.4, but I've also hit a few that here is one 12.9. My last tank I got 12.9. One tank I got 12.1, 12.2. I think that uh, they do a reformulization of the fuel in the winter time, so that might have a little factor to do with this because originally I'd have been on summer fuel and now we'd be on winter fuel. Um, I have not changed the way I fill the truck. Uh, I have not changed putting the arch oil in. About the only difference I'm adding the uh, the anti-gel, I, I can't remember what brand I use, but I have been adding the anti-gel lately because it's been colder. But uh, maybe a mile per gallon more with the exhaust, it, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, one thing I do need to do from this point forward is note what gas station I'm filling at. Because all I do is I put, oh, well you can see that, I put the the mileage the truck drove, the amount of gallons I use, and the average. So I need to add what gas station I get it at because that kind of seems to be a factor as well. Um, I normally get gas at Circle K because the debit card they have there gives you six cents off a gallon. But the prices have been fluctuating so much around here, I can get it cheaper at other gas stations sometimes without that discount. So some of these lower, you know, last seven or eight tanks have been 13.4 uh, was the best, 12.1, uh, 12.2, 13.3, but I filled up at the Circle K next to where I work, which is the first time I've ever used that one, and I got 14.5 out of that tank. Um, I do know one difference is having the truck in four-wheel drive or having the hubs locked. If the hubs are locked, even if it's not in four-wheel drive, just with the hub lock, I seem to lose a mile per gallon. Um, I do know that between that 13.5 and 14.5, not only did I change gas stations, I also unlocked the hubs because the weather got a little bit better and it wasn't quite so muddy up here. So I was, I was running with the hubs unlocked for that 14.5 tank. But then we went to 12.9 after that. Uh, I don't remember where I filled up there and I did have the hubs relocked and I did drive in four-wheel drive a little bit so I'm, I appear to be losing a mile per gallon with four-wheel drive. Uh, we lose maybe one or two for towing. There have been a lot of tows in there. Uh, we pulled the camper, we pulled Paula's craft trailer, um, we purchased that uh, New Holland tractor so we hauled that home uh, we had to get round bales for the horses. In fact, you can see this blue tarp here in the background. That's our round bales for the horses. We picked up 12 round bales, uh, four per load, and it was about a half an hour away. So we had uh, uh, three trips down there. So we used a lot of fuel that day, but it still only dropped it maybe a, maybe one, one and a half miles per gallon on this, if you want to call it an average. So uh, there was also some tuning changes in there, and I didn't document that, but it really didn't seem to make a difference in the tuning either um, as far as, as the mileage went. It might have went down a hair when I went to the 85 horsepower. I could tell the truck was running a little better with the 85 horsepower, but it, it seemed to take the mileage down you know, maybe a half a mile per gallon or so. So I, I've been running in the 65 fuel sipper for most of this, but... Uh, I think from this point on, I will document um, if I'm towing a trailer, 
and uh, what gas station I fill at and see if that makes a difference on, uh, on the mileage. Uh, the last, last tank I filled, it, when it was the 12.9, when I refilled from there, uh, I got at a station at, at Giant Eagle because we had 80 cents off a gallon. And just watching the gauge, it seems to be consuming way more fuel than it ever has. So I don't know if it's actually doing that or if it's just a fuel gas station, age of fuel, quality of fuel issue. So we'll start documenting, like I said, if, if we tow, uh, what tune I'm running in, and um, what gas station I purchase at to see if that raises or lowers uh, by, by those factors. Um, the exhaust, like I said, it, it may have given me a mile per gallon. It may not have. It's, it's kind of inconclusive. Because, like I said, these, these figures just, there's no rhyme or reason to it. They just keep jumping around. So we'll, uh, we'll keep, keep the records going, uh, try and do a little more detailed records as far as, like I said, the tune I'm running, if we tow anything, and what gas station we purchase at to see if that puts a trend to the up and down I've been getting. So we'll keep you informed. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Appreciate if you subscribe. Have a good day.